YouTube, I'm back. Today's Wednesday. It's day number three. Today I'm going to give me a haircut. Don't worry, I got another music video for you. It's going to be the season finale of season three. And it'll probably be the best video out of all of them. Depending on how well received it is. Today is a very interesting special YouTube video. No, it's not going to be sex game. It's not going to be... I mean, it'll be a self-improvement video later in the weekend, but... Give you a break from the self-improvement videos and focus on some a little more fun and exciting videos. Now this one is going to be a part of my other new series that I made here on YouTube and that's going to be called, this one's going to be called Sex, Black, Sex with Black Women I Like Who Hit the Gym. Now, Every YouTuber makes a video about trying to give a strong, positive reception of black women. Now, most black women who watch these YouTube videos will come across these videos. Some of the women will like and understand where I'm coming from. And some of them will be, I would probably say, not in happy spirits and will think I'm not giving them a proper representation. Which, every now and then, I try to give them a proper representation. You know, you see the video of me talking about black women from the United Kingdom. The one where I talked about I like light-skinned, brown-skinned, and dark-skinned black women. And you've seen the video where I said I like black women that are golf. But you have some women that are not golf. You have some black women that want an actual, 100% legitimate, proper representation of them. And every YouTuber tries to do that. Solo TV 84 has done it 10 times. Ringo TV Raw has done it almost 50 times. And, you know, Ringo feels like nobody gives him no credit. I give Ringo TV Raw credit for doing it. But Ringo talks about black women not giving him no credit for doing a proper representation of black women. And I know there's some black men that may not have no money to, uh, to afford a date women from foreign countries or seek black women in foreign countries like the Dominican Republican there's black women there too there's black women in Brazil I made the video about it there's black and Latino in Brazil I made the video but there's some guys that cannot afford to to travel that they don't make enough money they may have two jobs they might have three jobs and they still may not be able to make enough money to date foreign women or black women in foreign countries so I thought I'd make another video that will help black men out and help black women out. So I at least make my best effort as possible. So let's get to it. Now, I do have some actual good experiences with black women. Despite the fact that you see all my videos talk about their ghetto and, and they're from the hood. Let me use my experience at my last job that currently went out of business. Hold on. I apologize for that. We are doing construction up the street. And every time they do construction in this area, you might hear um, construction tr um, trucks driving back and forth. So I apologize for the audio and the sound. I can't do nothing about that. No matter what location I go to, there's always something. Fire truck, paramedics, a police car, you know, construction trucks. It's summertime still. It's still August. So, yeah. I mean, like I said, I'll be back at the Grove and make another video at the Grove where we're in the shade. But let's get to the video. Now, I do find black women physically, sexually attractive that go to the gym. Now, what I like most about black women who go to the gym is that they're very health conscious. You know, they eat their fruits, their vegetables, they drink lots of water. And they're naturally fit. They stay lean. They stay ripped. They stay cut. I like my black women who go to the gym to have six-pack abs. Now, I'm not saying you ain't got to be the She-Hulk that is the cousin of Bruce Banner, better known as the Incredible Hulk. I ain't say you got to be like the She-Hulk. I ain't saying that. I'm just saying you need to be in athletic shape. Now, the black women that I had my good experience with used to work at this store in the Grove. It's a high-class area, high-class, high-end retail store in the Grove area. And, uh, make a long story short, I met her. I mean, she's from Washington, D.C. I never thought that no black woman from 
Washington, D.C. would be checking me out, but she was. And what got me physically, sexually attracted and drawn to her was she was in her 20s. Yes, I like my black women young and in their prime. You can call me an a-ho, a jerk, uh, but I like my women in their prime when they're young. So don't play her hate. She was in her 20s, and she was from Washington, D.C., and she also, she got a body on her, you know, nice athletic body, them curves, that ass. And I didn't go, oh my gosh, she's not light-skinned. She was brown-skinned black girl, you know. And I found her physically sexually attractive. And when she came at me, she came at me like, most black women wouldn't come at me. She came at me like, hi, what's your name is? You know, I mean, she had the, you know, the, the tank top out. You know, she had the belly button pierced. So I think it's no secret I like women, I like black women and white women with tattoos and body piercings. I'm a little guilty of that. You know, when I was in my 20s, I used to get attacked by older men who said I had low standards. And they told me, it's not a good idea for you to be trying to pick up women with tattoos and body piercings and wearing booty shorts because that's not the right type of women. And I would argue with some of these older black men, like, look, I'm sexually frustrated. Things ain't going my way. I'm 23 years old. I'm in college. Leave me alone. And these guys that were in their 50s and their 60s, they do what every old man does in those movies and those television shows. You know what I'm talking about? They always do this. Just because I said... I like black women and white women with tattoos, body piercings, and I like the bo- I like the booty shorts, which I do. So every now and then when I see a black girl or a white girl from the age of 18 to 29 wearing the booty shorts and have some tattoos, I do get very happy and excited. Now, on the world of YouTube, I believe that's called simping. I believe that's called being a mangina. Now, I'm just trying to tell you. If you don't know what the word simping or being a mangina is, I'll give you a nice, um, appropriate term. It's a nice way of saying you're just too desperate. There's thirsty, and then there's you're just too desperate. So that's the best way to look at it. You're just too desperate. But anyway, I like black women and white women that are in athletic shape. I'll make a completely separated video about why I like white women in the gym. That'll be a separate video, but right now we're on black women. I like my black women in athletic shape. I like my black women from the age of 18 to 29 in athletic shape. Six-pack abs, cut, lean, ripped, got the curves, got that ass. Now, if you got a belly button, I like that. If you got a tattoo across your back, I'm okay with that. You got a tattoo on the back of your ass, I I like that. I'm more drawn to women who got the tattoos on the back of the ass. Don't ask me why. It might have something to do with being in high school, college, every step of the way. Every time I meet a woman, they got a tattoo in the back of their ass. Same thing with the white girls. Somehow, some way, I always manage to meet a female who's got either a tattoo on their back or on the back of their ass. And I actually like black women with tattoos on the back of their ass. I don't want you two to be like, okay, you swearing a little bit too much, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to dive down the, uh, the profanity language, but I'm trying to explain it. Now, I like black women that are in shape. Now, it don't matter, well, if you're short, then I'll gravitate even more. So now, she's from Washington, D.C., so I'm going to help you black men out who ain't got no money to date black women in foreign countries. Washington, D.C., I would say D.C. is the best place to go to. Every black man tells me if you're tired of Los Angeles, if you're tired of New York City, if you're tired of Atlanta, Washington, D.C. is the place to go to. And I believe them when they say it. I I had nothing, for the most part, I had very good experiences with this black woman. Now, she was, was she ghetto? Well, yes, come on now. Does she have tattoos and piercings? Yes, yeah, she had the nose ring. That's another turn on. So I do like black women and white women with nose rings. And I do like black women with the tattoo on their back and the tattoo on their ass. And I do like the booty shorts. Like I said, that's when I was in high school and college. 
And a lot of the older men do not like when I like that because to them that's lowering your standards. No one's perfect, okay? So don't pick on me too much. I'm not perfect. I have some flaws. I have some imperfections. I have some weaknesses. Every superhero has weaknesses, okay? Don't pick on me. Superman's weakness is kryptonite. Any form of kryptonite, Superman's powerless. You throw black kryptonite on Superman, Superman turns evil. You throw in yellow kryptonite, it takes away all his powers. You hit him with green kryptonite, you kill Superman. You give Superman blue kryptonite, you make him human. I'm just trying to tell you the different kryptonites can actually harm Superman. Batman has a weakness. You get Catwoman or Wonder Woman, that's it, Batman's finished. Spider-Man, you get the black cat, um, Spider-Man's finished. You get um, the Phoenix, and Wolverine has a hard time deciding should he fight the Phoenix or team up with the Phoenix. Every superhero has weaknesses. My weakness is I like black women and white women with tattoos and piercings that wear booty shorts. Those are my weaknesses. So don't pick on me too hard. Every now and then I get caught slipping. And every now and then I get the men in their 50s and their 60s who do this. Okay? So I have weaknesses. I'm a superhero to have weaknesses. So don't pick on me too hard. Every now and then I get caught slipping. Every moment I have a moment and I get caught. You know? And I'm just trying to tell you. Now, I also like the fact that they work out in the gym. Now, my experience with her was, was great. And I almost got in trouble because she tried to bring me into the closet and, you know, everything shows up on camera at work. You can get fired and lose your job. She tried again in the bathroom. And she's real playful. Every time I see her, she wanted to play. Most black men complain that black women are not playful. So apparently they must have put some in the water in Washington, D.C. Because apparently this black woman from D.C. likes to play. You know, I ain't, you know, tickle her or none, but we would play fight. You know, she hit, she socked me, I sock her. And I try to give her the bunny ears. She try to give me the bunny ears. She crack jokes, I crack jokes. I'm just trying to tell you my fun experience with a black woman. And guess what? I didn't complain about the tattoos or the body piercings because I was drawn to it. Every now and then I would go terrorize her at work. You know, she'll come terrorize me at work. You know, I'll go uh, 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 have fun and cracking jokes. She'll have fun cracking jokes back. And some people might say, how come you never asked for the phone number? Because there was not enough time for that. And the time that I met her, only got to know her for about four and a half months. Then our job had went out of business. So you can imagine how that would feel. You know the rule, the first month, you that's too that's too mangina. That's too you're too much of a simp if you try to get the phone number in the first month. They'll they'll think you're a simp if you try to get the phone number in the first month. If you try the second month, they're gonna say that's still too early to be trying to ask for any woman's phone number. The third month, it's not early, but then again that's predictable. The fourth month seems like the right time to do it, but before I could even do that. I got hit with the worst news. I lost my job and had to look for another one. And she had to look for a new job. And if you think I was upset, she was upset because she, she kind of, I don't want to say she 100% liked me, but you could tell if more time developed more chemistry, ultimately, that's probably who I probably would have been taken out to lunch and dinner. And then people would go, oh, so he does like black women. Because, you know, they like to make me out like the super villains from the comic books. I'm Reverse Flash. I'm the evil Doctor Doom from Fantastic Four. When you never heard me say in these YouTube videos that I don't like black women, I do like black women. It's just I figured that they can't really be from necessarily from Los Angeles. They have to be from someplace else. She was from D.C., so that's probably why I didn't have a problem. Like I said, she had the tattoos. She had the piercings. And like I said, she was ghetto. And that's the first time I had a lot of fun. And guess what? I didn't have to do all the stuff I used to do. This came 100% natural. Now, in the beginning, I didn't know where it was coming from. I mean, did she come on a bit strong? Yeah, she did. And as time went on, I would have fun, you know, play fighting. You know, she teased me, I tease her. 
you know. And then, of course, she wore her leather jacket, and I really gravitated towards her. So I have a fun experience. And she wasn't the only black girl. There was another black girl that is built like Janet Jackson in her prime. But with her, I would just play games with her and mess with her head a bit. Because I always keep making the one mistake I tell you in your YouTube videos. Stop telling girls you like them right away. So with her, I would just play with her. Like I would actually mess with her head a bit to make her think I don't like her when I did like her. But I wouldn't tell it to her. Because when I did that in high school and college, it was always rejection, 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 rejection. Followed by more rejection. So I did the complete opposite. I tell very little of myself. Same thing with her. She wanted to know more about me, and I just pulled out the Dracula card on her. Uh, you don't need to know that much about me just yet. And the more I didn't want to tell her, the more she tried to find out about me. And that kept her more interested in me. Now, does that work on everyone? No. But when I did it, I had a fun experience. I wasn't under attack or under pressure like I normally was. She didn't try to control me. I didn't try to control her. Whenever she had fun with other people, I didn't go, why are you talking to other people? And when I went to go talk to other people, she didn't make it into no big deal. Most of the time, they make it into a big deal. So Washington, D.C. would be one place I highly recommend you go to if you got two jobs or three jobs and you don't make enough money to date black women from foreign countries. So you can get the best of both worlds. I mean, like I said, I'm very guilty when I see black women with the tattoos, the piercings, and the booty shorts. I get caught slipping. Every superhero has got some kind of weakness. And those are my weaknesses. Every now and then I get caught slipping. And then the old men do this. What's wrong with that young man? I'm, I'm just trying to help you out here. But I like black women that hit the gym. If you cut your hair short or if you're bald-headed, I, I find that physically, sexually attractive, too. Most black men don't like when black women cut their hair short or, go, or bald. Like that actress in the movie The Black Panther. You saw her on the television show called The Walking Dead, right? When I saw her in The Black Panther, I found her physically, sexually attractive. A black woman bald-headed with some ass. I liked it. I even told you the story about some of the black women I saw at Los Angeles City College who cut their hair short and I was looking like, she still looks good. Now, all of them had boyfriends, so that's the thing. They all had boyfriends. But I'm trying to explain to you is, you know, that, that turned me on too. But if you're in athletic shape, most definitely I'm going to find you attractive. Now... Let's talk about the sex. Uh, sex is going to be great. Now, there was some foreplay now. Yes, there was some foreplay at the job. Like I said, I almost got in trouble. So, if you're going to go mess with black women, Washington, D.C. is what I highly recommend. The South is the second place. I heard St. Louis is a good place to go to. I ain't never been, but my friend has gone to St. Louis four times and told me, man, you need to get out of Los Angeles and you need to go to St. Louis and check out the black women in St. Louis. So, who knows, maybe in five years I might go to St. Louis and see what's up. Um, I also heard... What's another place? Texas. My uncle keep telling me, man, you need to go to Texas. A black woman in Texas is bad to the bone. They make the women here in Los Angeles normal. So you got my three top places on where you should go if you want to get with black women. Washington, D.C. at number one. Number two, uh, St. Louis. And then number three, Texas. So I gave you three places besides Atlanta. Besides New York, besides Los Angeles, New York would probably be number four. Because I had some guys tell me, man, you need to get out of L.A. and come to New York, man. So, I'm trying to tell you there are some places where you can find some black women that are going to gonna be good. So, uh, that's if you can't get the passport. So, yeah, this video is quite long already, long enough. But, yeah, I do like black women that hit the gym. And I do have some weaknesses. I do like black women with the tattoos, the tattoo on their back, the tattoo on their ass. I do like the nose ring and the belly button. 
And I do like my black women wearing some booty shorts. And like I said, I like white women like that too. And I would make a completely separated video that's just devoting on why I like white women in the gym. But that video is not about white women. This is about black women. So for black women that think I don't like black women, you can stop thinking that. Because I had a good experience with a black woman in that environment. Just unfortunately the job went out of business and to me four months is not enough time to ask for a phone number and I did have an opportunity to take her out to lunch and dinner but you know the rule you gotta have a car a truck or a motorcycle bus and the train don't count so before someone watch a video and judge the name of the title and judge a book by its cover unless you hear me say I don't like black women don't be assuming anything if I say I like black women that are golf, then every now and then, like I, now I told you what my problem is. So that's what got me in trouble in high school. That's what got me in trouble in college. And the only reason why I didn't get in trouble with her was because, like I said, they must be putting something in the water in Washington, D.C. Okay? I even had some guys that work in that same area that told me, you need to start messing with black women from Washington, D.C. There was another black woman from D.C. that was checking me out, but I didn't notice. Because it, it was too much attention at that time. But, yes. And sex is great. Well, I ain't had sex yet, but I heard some guys tell me the black women in D.C. will, will have you on cloud nine. That, that's all you need to know, okay? I already sweared enough. I don't want YouTube to take the video down. But you got your answer. So don't be stressing out when you see me at 24-hour fitness or LA, not LA fitness gym, but 24-hour fitness gym or Planet Fitness gym, and I be looking at you like, man, you fine, okay? So do we have an understanding now? I gave you the best interpretation of representing a black woman in a good light. I didn't say ghetto. I ain't mentioned the fingernails or the weave. I try to base it off of a good quality thing, which is the fitness. Until then, peace.